everyone, I'm Sarah, and welcome to my crochet channel. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to crochet the lacy wrap shawl. Now, I originally designed this pattern using a yarn that is no longer available, and it was just a goldish yarn with a little bit of sparkle in it that was similar in weight to the Mandela yarn. And so what we did is we remade this gorgeous lacy wrap in Mandela yarn. And we'll talk more about yarn in just a second. It's a super easy pattern, a wonderful repeat that's just super fun to make, and it's super beautiful. And I know I said super too many times, but it is a really beautiful pattern. This shawl measures approximately 21 inches across and about 45 inches in length. But of course, you can do the repeats as many times as you want to and make it as long as you would like. Now, you can find all that information on the blog along with the pattern and lots of good pictures. And as always, you'll find that pattern link down in the notes underneath this video. To make the lacy wrap shawl, you're going to need about seven ounces of a light number three weight yarn. The mandala or mandela or however you say that is perfect for this project. You'll need two of these cakes because each one is 3.5 ounces. The one that I used is called Hercules. It's a light number three and it takes two cakes or seven ounces of a light number three yarn. We're going to be stitching today with our eye hook, and that's because we want the stitches to be a little bit loose and lacy. The eye is a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. You'll need a needle just for weaving in ends and a pair of scissors. To make the wrap shawl, you're going to need to stitch 62 foundation double crochet stitches. Now I'm not going to be making a whole nother wrap. What I'm going to do is make a swatch of 32 stitches. To make the foundation double crochets, we start with our slip knot, we chain four, Yarn over, go in that fourth chain from the hook, and pull up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and only go through the first loop. Now we're going to yarn over and go through the second two, yarn over and go through the last two. When you make a foundation double crochet, you make the chain and then the stitch. Yarn over, we're going to go in that chain that we made, Pull up a loop, yarn over, and go through that first loop, and then we'll just finish our double crochet. Yarn over, go through the next two, yarn over, and go through the next two. Whoops, there we go. Now, when you're counting your stitches, make sure you count this chain three as your first. You're going to need to stitch 62 foundation double crochets. I'm making a swatch, and so I'm going to stitch 32. Yarn over, go in that chain that we made, and pull up a loop. Yarn over and go through first loop. Yarn over and go through the second two loops. Yarn over and go through the last two loops. That's the foundation double crochet. 
Once you have stitched your 62 foundation double crochets, we're going to chain three and turn. Our chain three here and on every row counts as your first double crochet. We're going to double crochet in the next three stitches. So you'll have four double crochets at the beginning of every row because our chain three counts as our first. We're going to chain four. There we go. We're going to skip the next four stitches. One, two, three, four. And then in this next stitch, we're going to stitch two double crochets. One, two, chain two, and two double crochets. One and two. So we chained four, we skipped four, and then we stitched two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets in that next stitch. And this is going to be our repeat across. Chain four, one, two, three, four, skip four, one, two, three, four, and then in the next stitch, we'll stitch two double crochets, one, two, chain two, and two double crochets in the same stitch. <clears throat> and we'll repeat this all the way across our row. One, two, three, four, chain four, skip four, one, two, three, four, and in the next stitch, two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. And you'll repeat that working all the way across your row. Once you've repeated the chain four, skip four, shell stitch in the next, which is the two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, all the way across, you're going to end with eight stitches on the end. So here's my last shell stitch. I'm going to chain four. I'm going to skip the next four, one, two, three, four, and then I'm going to stitch one double crochet in those last four stitches. and chain three. And that's the way that row two should look. So we chain three and turn. And again, our chain three counts is our first double crochet. We're going to double crochet in those next three, and that will give us four double crochets at the beginning, because again, that chain three counts as our first. We're going to chain two, we're going to single crochet around that chain four and then chain two. So it looks like a little bow tie. Now we're gonna to go to the chain two space and stitch our shell stitch, which is double crochet two times, chain two and two double crochets, one and two. And so this is the repeat for row three. We're going to chain two. We're going to single crochet around that chain four and chain two. Then we'll go to the chain two space of the next shell stitch and stitch two double crochets. chain two and two double crochets.
and repeat. Chain two, single crochet around the chain four, and chain two. Shell stitch in the next chain two space. And we'll repeat that across. And when you get to that last chain four, we're going to chain two, single crochet around that chain four, chain two, and then one double crochet in those last four stitches. And of course, you're going to have more because I'm only doing a swatch. More repeats, I mean go and chain three and that's the way row three should look and you might notice a natural curve but once you get going it'll flatten out for you it is supposed to be lacy and loose so keep that in mind as you're stitching all right so we chain three one double crochet in the next three chain two, single crochet around the chain four, chain two, and then shell stitch in the chain two space of the previous shell stitch. And you repeat that all the way across until you get to the end. And then again, there's chain two, single crochet around the chain four, chain two, and then one double crochet in those last four stitches and chain three. All right, let's do row four. We've chained three, we're going to turn our work. Again, we're going to double crochet in those next three stitches and our chain three at the beginning counts as one double crochet. So we'll have four double crochets at the beginning. And you'll have four at the beginning and ending of each row. All right, now we're going to chain four. We're going to skip over that and go straight to our chain two space of our next shell stitch and stitch a shell stitch. One and two double crochets, chain two and two double crochets, one and two. And that's our repeat for row four. Chain four. shell stitch in the next chain two space. And repeat all the way across. One, two, three, four. Shell stitch in the next chain two space two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. Chain four and shell stitch. And repeat this all the way across. There we go. Chain four. There we go. I'm trying to keep my tension just a little bit looser because I want this to be open and lacy. All right, when we've done our last chain four at the end of our row, then we'll double crochet in those last four stitches. And again, you're going to have more shell stitches in the middle than I do because I'm just making a swatch. and chain three. All right, let's do row five. 
and row 5 is just a repeat of what we did on row 3. So chain 3 and turn, 1 double crochet in the next 3 stitches, chain 2, single crochet around that chain 4, and chain 2. Then we'll shell stitch in the next shell stitch, and our shell stitch again is 2 double crochets, chain 2, and 2 double crochets. And repeat chain 2, single crochet around the chain 4, and chain 2, shell stitch in the next chain 2 space. One and two double crochets, chain 2, single crochet around the chain 4 space, chain 2 and shell stitch in the next shell stitch. Chain 2. So you can see we're just repeating what we did on row 3. And you'll repeat that all the way across your row. All right, so there's my last shell stitch, chain two, single crochet around that last chain four, chain two, and one double crochet in those last four double crochets. There we go. And chain three. And so now you can see the repeat that we're working on. We're going to continue to repeat row 3 and row 4 for 68 or more rows, alternating every other row. You'll do a row with the chain 4, then you'll do a row with the chain 2, single crochet, and chain 2. And you'll repeat that for 68 or more rows. You can repeat it as many times as you want to for as long a wrap as you would like. Some people like one to just go across their shoulders, but if you want one that really wraps around you, do as many rows as you want to. But that's how you complete the shawl, alternating row three and row four for at least 68 more rows. So here is the end of my actual lacy wrap shawl. If you've added more rows, you want to make sure that you end on an R3, which is the chain 4, not the chain 2, single crochet, chain 2. All right? So make sure you end on an R3. All right, so what you're going to do is stitch one double crochet in those four double crochets. Our chain 3 is our first, and so we'll stitch three more. One, two, and three. And that brings us to our chain four space. In this chain four space, we're going to stitch four double crochets around that chain four space. One, two, three, and four. Now we're going to stitch one double crochet in the next two double crochets. One, two. We're going to skip that chain two space and stitch one double crochet in the next two double crochets. All right, I brought the camera in so you could see just a little bit better what I'm doing. We're going to stitch four double crochets around that chain four or chain four space. We're 
Then we're going to stitch one double crochet in the next two double crochets of that shell stitch. We're going to skip the chain one space and stitch one double crochet in the two double crochets. And this is going to give us a row that looks like the other end. Let me grab the other end. So we have a nice even row at the beginning and end of our wrap shawl. So four double crochets in the chain four space or around the chain four. One, two, three, and four. Then one double crochet in the next two double crochets. One and two. We're going to skip that chain one space, or chain two space, actually, it's a chain two, and stitch one double crochet in the next two double crochets. And we'll repeat this all the way across this row. And like I said, that gives us a nice even row of double crochets on the end of our wrap shawl. I have stitched across four double crochets in the chain four space, one double crochet in each of the four double crochets, all the way across for a nice even row. I'm at the end, and so all I need to do is stitch one double crochet in those last four double crochets. There we go. <clears throat> and I'm finished, so I'm going to cut my yarn and tie off. And now I just need to weave that end in and any other ends that I have. You'll have an end where you joined your yarn because it takes two cakes and then of course you'll have an end to weave in at the beginning as well. And now my wrap shawl is complete. You don't have to put any trim on the sides. That's why I liked starting with those four on the top and bottom of our shawl. You don't have to add any trim if you don't want to. Isn't that beautiful? And so here is my completed lacy wrap shawl. And it's the perfect shawl for cool mornings, chilly evenings, or just during the day, anytime you want to add an extra flare to any outfit.